Welcome to my channel. This is actually the ancient city of Masada. And this is on top of the palace, the king's palace. King Herod built Masada. And they had their own water supply. It was an actually um, an ingenious engineering marvel. And they had a, a lot of pools. They had pools. They had showers. And, of course, they were eventually conquered by the Romans. It took them eight years, but when the Romans conquered them, they found that they were all dead. And the Jews had decided that they are not going to be slaves and not going to be prisoners, but they were going to choose their own fate. Masada has just got an incredible story if you want to check it out. You should definitely look it up. And this is me seeing the ancient ruins. I can actually see the lots where they cast lots to see who's which family was going to be uh, killed and, and who was going to kill each this other's families because they didn't, you know the father wouldn't kill their own family. So the, the king the believed. It. So this is the <clears throat> back to the main entrance of Masada, and they said that the palace is up on the north entrance. So I'm not sure which way is north, but <clears throat> <clears throat> considering the sun rises in the east, it rises that way north let me see so that's that's east it's got to be this way so north is this way so that's the that's the main entrance this is it this is masada the last stand it's amazing the way they built things back then so this is the inside of these ruins that they found. I can't believe these things stayed intact all these years, man. This is incredible. This is so cool. This really happened. This is history coming alive right now. Look at the way this is built, man. Just amazing. This is I think one of the one of the one of the parts of the palace. You see the Colosseum there? See there? Man, this just looks intimidating, man. Like one of these rocks could could fall and land on you any minute. This actually is where I'm actually going towards the main palace. There's like three palaces, three levels of the palace. And this is where King Herod stayed. And you got to go around because there's not a direct stairs that go down there. I, I don't know why, but you got to go on the outside. And it's just, man, it's just a really steep uh, stairs. But it's safe, and you can see the handrails there, and it's a, quite a good experience. <laughs> uh, we wouldn't be able to say it. We'd be dead. There'd be a book written about us. I wonder how this happened. So this is going back up now, and this concludes my trip. I'm done. I'm not... I'm not going to be back in Masada, but it's the last act of defiance of people that were not willing to be conquered. How the church conquered the world. Here, you know, I like to stand here and, and explain it because it's very... <coughs> you can see how you imagined these stones were part of this wall, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. And you just simply rebuild. And you can look around, there's a black line so this was a nice little trip and a great experience come to Israel and see the ancient city of Masada Oh, the highest end of Roman